Now, ang pinaka-importanteng standard na kailangan yung malaman sa, sa uh, pagiging isang network engineer is called the OSI model. So, ano nga ba tong OSI model na to? It's a standard architecture defining network communication. Okay? Um, anong ibig sabihin nito? Um, all, halos lahat ng network engineers follows this model. Okay? It's also a model to help us break down network communications. Now, bakit nakapula yung uh, kwan natin? Yung line of text na to. Kasi ito yung pinaka-importanteng use ng OSI layer na kailangan yung malaman. It's a guide for you to help break down ano ba, ang, ano ba ang nangyayari kapag yung computer mo is nag-uusap sa cellphone mo. Okay? It's a system to break down network communications. It's also a standard to create standards. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Um, kunyari naglabas ako ng bagong Wi-Fi router. Yung Wi-Fi router na yon must be able to follow yung OSI model kahit bagong-bagong technology ng Wi-Fi ito. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kunyari nakapag-design ako ng next generation Wi-Fi, I have to make sure na yung Wi-Fi ko still can talk with the old generation models. And paano yan, paano yan gagawin? By using the OSI model. Kailangan ko sundan na yung bagong Wi-Fi technology ko, kunyari, must be able to follow pa rin yung OSI model. So it's a standard to create standards. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. And it's a competing protocol to the TCP IP model. Now, ano ibig sabihin ng TCP IP model? I'll show it to you later. And itong OSI model na to is maintained by the International Organization for Standards. So, yun. Um, the OSI layer helps us break down how computers communicate. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng OSI. For us networking engineers, ha? Okay. It's a guide for us. Ang, pin ang pinaka-use ng OSI is to help you guide uh, or help guide you pala. Okay. In terms of breaking down kung paano nga ba nag-uusap ang mga computers. Ano nga ba nangyayari sa loob ng computer ko? Whenever my computer wants to talk or mag-check ako ng email sa Gmail. Sa Gmail ko. Or gusto kong mag-browse sa Facebook. Ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng computer ko for it to be able to communicate kay Facebook. And the OSI model will help us break down that communication. So kung makikita nyo dito sa slide ko, um, ito, nagsisend ng email or nags, um, nag request yung Outlook client natin or yung browser mo sa Gmail server, paano nga ba niya kinukuha yung mga email messages mo? E nagpapakita sa screen ng computer mo. Okay. Um, how do we help interpret that by using the seven layers of the OSI model? Now, itong OSI model natin is represented by seven layers. So, ano yung layers na to? Application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. Okay. And may kita dito yung use. So, si application layer is ito yung mga applications na tumatakbo sa computer mo. Presentation layer is um, uh, anong type of data ang gusto mong isend sa ibang computer. Session layer is it uh, starts and ends sessions. Um, transport layer naman defines ports and reliability. Network layer is uh, logical IP addressing. Okay. Um, data link layer naman is dito yung mga switches natin. And physical layer is yung mga cable. Now, huwag kayong mag-alala kung hindi nyo pa masyadong mag-gets to. Kasi nung nagsisimula rin ako as a network engineer or nung nag-aaral din ako ng Cisco, hindi ko rin to nakuha. Okay? I did not immediately get this one. Kasi, syempre, nung tinuturo sa akin ng Cisco dati, um, medyo something new to me and hindi ko siya masyadong nag-gets nung una. Okay? But, Hopefully, I can explain this to you in a much more simpler way kesa nung na-explain sa akin ito nung uh, nag-aaral ako ng Cisco for you to be able to hopefully understand this much more easier. Okay? Susubukan kong ipasimple yung explanation ko ng OSI. Okay? Unlike what others are teaching. Now, itong kailangan nyo rin matandaan. 
Okay? You have to memorize the seven layers. Kasi lumalabas to talaga sa certification. Okay? You have to learn the OSI model by heart. Kasi if you know how the OS, if you memorize the OSI layers and you know how it works, that will separate you from being a good network engineer to being one of the best network engineers sa kumpanya ninyo. Okay? Kung alam mo kung paano gumagana or alam mo kung saan ito troubleshoot ang, ang, ang sira ng network mo by using the OSI layers, it will make you it will make your troubleshooting much more easier. It will make your life much easier. Okay? So, you have to memorize this by heart. And how it works, you have to memorize it by heart also. And don't worry, ipapakita ko sa inyo how everything works. Okay? How network community, how paano nga ba nag-uusapan nag dalawang computer by using the OSI model. 